It is time now for the KUSI News at 11. Paul? Thank you very much, Heather. Good evening, everybody. They called it the Boston Tea Party. It happened in December of 1773 when angry colonists in Boston dumped three shiploads of tea into the bay to protest England's taxes on the colonies. On this April 15, 2009, protesters across the nation held their own so-called tea parties to demonstrate against American taxation. KUSI's John Soderman joins us live from Oceanside, where one of those tea parties was held. John? And Paul, it was a very big one, and we begin with chants of no more spending. A huge crowd gathers in downtown Oceanside to make the following point. We are worried about the future of this country, that our politicians are taking part in out-of-control spending madness. Pelosi, do! That we're being taxed to the max, and that we're accumulating so much debt, it is to the point of no return. We're tired of runaway spending policies. We're tired of pork politics. We're tired of the legislatures putting their hands in our pockets to solve every one of the problems. As far as California is concerned, they call the governor the taxinator, saying that California has the highest state income tax in the nation, the highest state sales tax, and the highest state car tax. Ruth Clifford, who spent time in a Japanese concentration camp as a little girl, compares that experience to what is happening now. I lost my freedom then, and here I am in the country I dearly love, and I'm losing my freedom again. Because of what? Because of what's going on, our taxes. And there's some in the crowd who are not happy with President Obama. Everything that's happening is the wrong direction. The only thing he did right, the administration, is, is uh, he made the decision yesterday to go after the pirates. By the time these people start making their way to the Oceanside Pier, Oceanside police estimate the crowd at well over a thousand. By the end of the rally, police say the crowd estimate is more closer to 2,000. It's not your money! It's not your money! And after those pictures were taken, the numbers of people here uh, continued to swell. The final estimate from Oceanside PDs, there could have been as many as 5,000 people at this tea, this uh, rally. We're coming to you from Oceanside. John Soderman, K with Simons. Thank you, John. And that's our top story tonight at 11 for this Wednesday, April 15th. Here's a live look at the post office right now. Taxpayers are being greeted by protesters who say we're taxed too much. Many protesters with the same message made their voices heard across the country today. They wore colonial outfits on the Boston Common, not far from the site of the original Tea Party. We're going to lose our freedom. It's really absolutely tragic. Here in Oceanside, they marched down the pier en masse. Protesters came from as far as Nevada to take part in this rally, a rally and march to say stop. We do not feel that this is a Democrat or Republican issue. We feel this is an American issue and we have just been overtaxed and we're pretty much fed up with it. Hundreds of tea parties today from Sacramento to Washington, D.C. were designed to protest the bailouts, the stimulus plan, and President Obama's budget. The message is pretty clear. It's stop the spending madness because right now, the government is expanding at the expense of the people, and that's simply unacceptable. While the Boston Tea Party in 1773 was about taxation without representation, critics point out today's protesters did get to vote. In response to the protest, President Obama said it took years to get into the mess we're in, and it will take time to get out.